All right, folks. Hello, Nathan P. Butler here. This is my YouTube channel. Here you'll find stuff like from the Star Wars Home Video Library, Star Wars Battlefront 2 live streams, uh, my vlog, The Voice of Reason or Lack Thereof, and so forth. But, of course, I'm a big PlayStation VR proponent, and anytime I pick up a new PSVR game, I try to make sure that at some point, relatively close to launch, I show you a quick playthrough of at least some of it to give you a sense of how it plays. Uh, this is one that I had great hopes for, called The Inpatient, made by the same team, uh, Supermassive Games that made Until Dawn that was so enjoyable, and then that also did Until Dawn Rush of Blood, one of the launch titles for PSVR. I've actually played this game once. The night that it came out, I hopped on right as my wife went to sleep for the night, and you can actually blow through this game in about two hours. It is a $40 title that you can blow through in about two hours. However, the key is the replay value. Just like Until Dawn, you have the so-called butterfly effect. And different events in the game, apparently six of them, two of which did not appear during my last playthrough because of some choices that I made, uh, will change the outcome of what happens in the game in terms of who you meet along the way, who survives, who dies, and more. Okay, My guess is that this choice um, is going to be one that helped lead to an, an undesirable ending for one of the characters when I played the first time. Uh, so my plan here is to jump in, start up a new playthrough, make some different choices, so I can talk to you not just about the game as it plays, but also about how the choices affect the story as I'm seeing a second playthrough actually having that effect. That said, it is a short game, and it goes from being a jump-scare-based uh, and psychological-based thriller that's all about atmosphere into basically a walking simulator. The back half of the game does not live up to the payoff of the first half, so kind of know that ahead of time. All right, so I'm going to jump into a new game. This will overwrite your current progress. Are you sure? Sure, why not? It's not like I was going to pick up for my current progress anyway. You can choose to be male or female. Last time I chose male. So I guess I'll be a female this time. Actually, no. No, I'll stick with male because I don't want any of the reaction changes that I talk about uh, and course changes in the story to be because of the choice of gender. You do get to choose your own uh, skin tone. Everything from, um, I guess, Steve Bannon up to Malcolm X, maybe? So I don't care. I'm a pasty white guy, but we'll go for somewhere in the middle. Because this actually is one of those games where you do see your, your body as you play. Uh, some of these games, you're like a disembodied head or disembodied hands or both. In this case, basically, you are a body uh, without a head because the head is obviously you with the headset. And here we are kicking things off. That blink was me making sure that I matched it up. I am patient something. See, skin tone has chosen. Let's test your memory. Pretty decent character. What I don't like is that every time you move the, uh, the controller, the move controller, out of your field of vision, it gives you these little warnings, which breaks the immersion. Uh, no, where am I? I am worried that you are holding back. Kind of crank up the Try volume here. with some emotion. Where am I? This is the Blackwood Sanatorium. Oh. Do you know why you're here? Lovely. Um, you can actually turn on voice recognition, by the way. Obviously, that doesn't make sense if I'm going to be streaming and talking. Do you know why you're here? I'm going to be more belligerent this time. Your Last time I was just a nice to help you. patient. You're now I'm going to be like, Motherfucker, get me out of here! Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. The walls fall away. Try to visualize the last thing you can remember before you came here. Okay. You have m memories that you get by looking at certain things throughout the course of the game that will help add context to things like this. Additional sessions may be inevitable. 
It's crazy dark on purpose. Kind of a smoky sense around the lights. Did you remember anything? Uh, yes. Ah. Describe him to me. It made no sense! Ah. Rest assured. Though, of course, now it actually makes sense, because I played it already. The light. Doctor, we seem to be making some progress. Is there anything else? Any small details? Nothing is too insignificant. Let's let me have a face where I remember a light. I'm gonna try this again. So, please, relax, take a deep breath, think about that moment, and concentrate. You know, so each time I make no a choice... how much it may scare or upset you, it's important. Face the, hard truth. the dialogue choice just sort of fades away. If it is a dialogue choice that has a butterfly effect, you'll see when we get to one of those that it basically shatters into a bunch of little butterflies. Now, what can you recall? Same thing, jackass! Although not really. Please. Slightly Even different. The smallest detail can illuminate. Let's go for and eh, someone was coming for me. This treatment is effective, but stressful. Uh, overexposure could for what it's worth, this memories. is PlayStation 4 Pro. You, you may imagine things that never even happen. I know this hasn't been easy, but I'd really like to try once more. Get your hands off me! You can have it in you. Doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Uh. I've had uh, enough. This process can be extremely effective, but can also be difficult. <gasps> One final thing, and it's the key to the success of this treatment. Oh yeah. You do understand I want what's best for you. Get out of my face. If you understand what's best for me, why'd you eat onions today? Bitch! Last time I was so calm. I still seem to be calm. Notice that if I move my controllers, I can sort of move his wrists in the restraints. Time now to rest and heal. Mother! Let the memories come home to roost. One of the instances in the game where the uh, collision detection is not all that great. It looks less like you're getting a shot and more like he just moved the geometry of the needle into the geometry of your leg and it disappeared as bad uh, collision detection. For the most part, though, those types of things are minimal. In fact, this is one of the few games that is designed so that your physical body doesn't pass through anything. Which does take some getting used to. Still hey, tied up. Hey, you're, yet. you're a funny, funny man. Butterfly effect. Yep, you're good. Time to put you back on the shelf. All right, so that had That's some right, influence we'll on something. See if you can put him back together again. Hope he's not losing his touch. And now they explain the butterfly effect for anybody who's never seen the movie or ever heard of the concept. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane tomorrow. Dig the fact that you are basically in a screening room as you're seeing this. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. It's very similar um, to the description that we got in uh, Until Dawn. My feet! And little toes! Hi! Hello, Suzanne. And she just your face. walks on by. Well, you got no game, bro. Guess I ain't fit to shine her shoes. You think a girl like that would ever give me the time of day? 
playful. She's out of your league. Who's talking, big guy? At least I ain't wearing prophylactic pajamas. You don't need to be talking like that. Again, sense of motion, sense of atmosphere is good. And it is one of the few games where what's behind you is, is presented in such a way it still technically exists. So, like, if I lean back like this, like, if I was actually in a wheelchair, I'm sure that I'd be leaning my head back like this. And sure enough, he's still there. It's not like, for instance, some racing games where the seat behind you doesn't exist even if you turn around. It does keep it a persistent uh, atmosphere. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Which I bet you would have wanted to know before you made that first butterfly effect decision when you were talking to Sparky there. Elevator go up. Let me just call us a cab. Elevator go down. Elevator go down the hole. Where am I? Um, hello, you get out much? We're in the world famous Blackwood Sanatorium. Of course I don't get out much. Hotel. I'm in a sanatorium, no, Dick. Not so much the hotel part. There, here we are. Only downside to the character models tends to be um, that they feel a little bit larger than life. Yeah, Literally. Wouldn't want to be late for your spa treatment. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to roll myself with my hands all in these things? You think Braggett's spring for an upgrade? Get your ass it's over here. Sake, at least. Whole place going to pieces. No, so this is taking place in the 50s. This is essentially an origin story for the creatures that we meet in Until Dawn. More or less. Though there is a very small amount of crossover at the end of the game with the beginning of the classic Until Dawn. <laughs> Must have given you the good stuff. Three sheets to something, all right. Now, the good stuff is what I gave your mom. Oh, oh, oh. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. The blinking, by the way, is intentional. That's not an HDMI glitch. At this point, since he's drugged, he's blinking frequently and kind of like trying to nod off. Where you going? Hear people arguing. I will not calm down. Smart cookie over there. She's got the touch. She's got the power. Yeah. Okay, that's enough fun. And more about the butterfly effect. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Which I didn't really last time. I tried to be agreeable last time and just kind of took it from there. Trying to remember my main choices so that when the game actually uh, was picked hey, up again, you're back. wouldn't be as big a deal. The little blackout. No big deal. You know, All I'd be able to choose just alternate choices Almost to find other paths. That is where the game's replay value comes in. You're expected to play it multiple times to see multiple paths. If you're expected only to play it once, $40 is way too steep a price for basically a two-hour game. Now that it's stopped VR game manufacturers before. Hello? You're okay. Look at me. Everything is going to be okay. Lullaby, lullaby. Let's Everything is going to be all right. All right. Lights out. Okay. There's a lot of sitting and standing. A new day. Come on. Wakey, wakey. What's up? Up, up, up. Let's see what you got. Upsy daisy. And his head appears way just too big to me. It's slightly bigger than life proportion, and it's a little disturbing. Have a look around. Why don't you take in the view? Snow. And what I tell you, I had odds on you. Gonna make me a rich man. White wall tires and a three martini lunch. Now, walk. Come to Papa. 
Motion controls are one of the things, at least for walking, that is heavily criticized in most of the reviews for the game. To walk, you press there the move button go. on the left-hand controller. Wow. Almost ready for the triathlon. Now, let's try going back to the bet. All right. The right controller, where you point it, lets you turn. So if you want to turn around, you point it behind you, say, but not over your shoulder if it's too high, because then it can't track it and it gives you the damn oh, warning God. again. Point and press. Yes, I know. Home <laughs> skillet. Like pushing a baby bird out of the nest. Come on. Except it's got to... If it doesn't track the controller, there we go. Good. Real good. Now just stroll around a bit. Da, da, da. Yeah, so I'm pointing left and right, and I'm clicking the right hand button, the right hand move button to turn. I'm using the left move button to walk. Okay, so you're kind of moving and moving and moving. Right Look, it's the calendar. Sure. Um, that's what your mama said? Now, these things, as far as like the ability to do anything with anything around, okay, so I can close my fists. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, I want to say, get the hell out of here. Oh, well, how about you kiss my ass, then, if you weren't going to listen to what I said? Um, you can interact with stuff, but check this out. Okay, so I can interact with, like, the chess pieces or whatever, but usually most VR games, your hand would pass through the table. No. It is considered as if it is a physical, solid object, um, for the most part. There's a little bit of collision detection issue every now and then, but it is considered solid. So when you try to pick up something, you got to make sure that you're picking it up with your hand coming around the object. Yeesh. Guy can't get a break around here. Bye, Abe. Quick, now let's read this thing. Pick it up. Look at it. Turn it around. It's lit up, which means it's going to let me do some type of flashback. And she just crying. The path I took doesn't actually give you a chance to interact with her much outside of this room slash cell, so I have no idea what she was crying over, even after a full playthrough. Okay, so I can just kind of walk, and I can turn on the lamp, and I can pick up the little book, but I don't know that I can actually do anything with the book. Got to dig the fact you got the uh, cacarocha. Okay, well apparently I squished the cockroach, but I can't actually do anything with the cockroach. And yes, okay, so part of the atmosphere is that it's very claustrophobic to this cell, so to speak. Okay, so... Hold trigger to sit on the bed. Sit on the bed to trigger the next thing that could happen. Hey, uh, did you find a piece of paper with my uh, notes scribbled on it? You mean that, you jerk? You bet I did. It's right there. There's a HIPAA violation in there somewhere, you jackass. Did you read my notes? Quite the poet. You really shouldn't have. And I guess you were just killing time, but curiosity killed the cat. Is that a threat? Let's get you ready for bed. Lights out soon. Do I need to break your glasses and gouge your eyes out with the glass from it? <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry I read it. I don't belong in a sanitarium. All right. Lights out. <laughs> Now, you would think that this is a phenomenon that's going to wind up continuing throughout the game, but it doesn't happen nearly as often as it otherwise would. Again, the game is designed around jump scares in this segment. The first half of the game has a fair number of jump scares. I'm warning you ahead of time. There's one coming up right there. 
The very first time I played this, like I said, my wife had just gone to sleep. Hey, bud. And just I nearly woke me. her up with a loud motherfucker as I jumped back from that jump scare. <laughs> now, last time I went the opposite direction. I wonder what happens if I go this direction this time. What's up, bro? And the gate comes down. Yeah, last time I went the opposite direction. Why it matters, I don't know. And now we're back, and here's a buddy. And give God your glory, glory. Know what I'm saying? Good morning to you. What's up? Who's the dude? Well, this is a very good opportunity for you to learn to get along with other people. You might want to start by introducing yourself. Oh, well, okay then. I also think one of the uh, issues you will run into... You should know we are very encouraged. You're on the road to a complete recovery. Is whether you eat anything, I think. I'm going to make it a point not to eat anything. Always going to be patients that are beyond our help. If you remember the original Until Dawn, you may have a good sense of why I don't want to eat anything. I think that's what determined the final fate of my character near the end of the game. So I ain't eating shit. I don't care how much they leave in here. Let's look at a maple leaf. They always said you can do things on a leap day you can't on any other. Like really? Um, a woman proposing to a man. Is that crazy? What? You were acting like you'd actually seen something unusual out there. Do you understand, Lady, this is 1952? Or were you just daydreaming? The most unusual thing. Uh. Ah. Well, that's a fun The most unusual thing would perhaps be a black woman proposing to a male or a black person proposed into a white person because interracial marriage wasn't really allowed at the time. So they, they got kind of a weird approach to the uh, the time period. Like she talks almost like it's, say, the 70s as opposed to the 50s some of the time in here. Oh, look, a sandwich? Uh, no. Unless I have to. What brings you to this fine establishment? Your mom. I'm on vacation, bro. Not the trusting kind, eh? That's fine. I was very Don't trusting in the me. first playthrough. Memory like a sieve. So, uh, these treatments ever get any easier? Uh. There we go. I don't know how much I can take. Again, butterfly Nathan effect. Gordon. You? Gordon Gecko? Uh, let's go with. Don't know. What are we doing here? I, uh. All right, well, big freaking help you are, Gordo. I'm going to grab some shut-eye. All right. I'll talk later. Good night. Okay. And I can go back and go to sleep again. Or at least sit on the bed. What's up? I do like the fact that they give you some variety. He's not just sitting there with his legs normally on the bed. He's got his, the, the one leg over the other kind of thing. What? Uh, had bad dream, bro. Well, maybe it won't be so bad if you say it out loud. Or maybe it will. Okay, well, it never said anything about having to choose a path on my first playthrough because I asked how he was doing and he didn't even continue to ask about the dream. So, yes, I did choose a path. What's up? You're not a prisoner. Try taking into your case personally. For now, I get comfortable. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, lady. What do you make of her? You think she's on the level? 
uh, I want to say, I like her. Last time I said she's okay. She's a little drunk on her own power, if you ask me. The. Did you basically just call a black person uppity? You're no, you can't do that today. I understand this is 1952, but you're not dressed like it, so chill your ass out. Ah, uh, okay, so there is a reaction to me not eating. I ain't eating your slop. It's not even peanut butter and jelly. Just leave the food where it is. Unless the maple leaf is gone, just leave it where it is. I think there is something for checking the calendar. If I remember correctly. There's a trophy attached to something about the calendar. Yeah, I'm not eating, bro. You can eat if you like. Can you, like, not give me that look? You got that Harvey Weinstein going into a casting interview kind of look. And I'm just, I'm not feeling that, bro. I'm... Not for me, bro. Not for me. No. No. I kick your ass. And now what? Do I have to just stand around and wait? Because I'm not picking up that damn food. I ain't eating. Hello. Bom, bom, bom. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, I always think the invented one eat this. I don't know how many more of these I can take. Exactly. So give it up. You want What's up, bro? Screw this voluntary nonsense, hey. right? Uh let's get the hell out of here. I'm shocked. You'd give up this five star cuisine. Feels like a prison. We're all prisoners when it really comes down to it. So, uh, the treatment's knock anything else loose up there? Uh. How'd you get here? Not by choice. That's for damn sure. I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay. We will learn, supposedly, who he is later. Stop it with the creepy look! Haha, -ha, I avoided eating again. That's good, I think. Although the first choice that I'm thinking has to do with eating, hell, for all I know, it was which direction I chose in that first dreamy thing. Yep, still in the same old room. Yep. We're really getting exciting now. Hey. Oh! Damn it, Victoria. When the hell am I getting out of here? I'm sorry. I Notice that he knows her. Have an answer. Brag wants you here. By name. Bragg wants him here. There seems to be some connection between them. I voluntarily choose to leave. Fine. I, I, voluntarily okay. being there, voluntarily wanting to leave. Food on the floor. Don't trust anyone in this damn snake pit. Okay then. Does that include you? Bruh, what's your problem? Uh oh, shit's going down. Oh, sorry. I'll be right back. Later. Shit's going down, man. Shit's going down. Still says the same day. Cue the three ring service. Oh. My head went into the wall. It happen once a week around here. They'll have doped and drooling in no time. Hello. Oh shit. Uh, sounds worse than that, bro. Else could it be? Uh, uh, something is a right. Get away from him because the dialogue choices were showing up way too close to my face. Sounds like something I dreamt, bro. Yeah, that makes two of us. What? You dreamt the same thing? Is that what you just said? Let me just think about this. Okay. 
You do that. Ooh, snowy landscape. And a sidewalk. And a sidewalk. Alright, lights out. Which is a cue for one of these segments again. Going for the creepiness factor. I'm walking, I'm a walking. I'm a walking man. What's up, bro? Okay, my friend. Are you freaking the fuck out? Where you going, my bro? Up. Oh. I've seen The Exorcist. And we're pretty much out of jump scares almost now. If that counts as a jump scare. We're pretty much out of jump scares for the rest of the game. There's one later, but it's one you can kind of predict coming. It's been two days since they've come. Nothing. Two days. I get that it's been two days. What did you do to your hair, bro? That is some serious growth on your face for two days. Maybe they'll come first, maybe not. No, I'm sure they'll be back. You Whatever's think? Whatever's happened, they can handle it. You There's think? a backup plan for everything. <laughs> you're optimistic. Jesus, you look like you're right on the edge. Oh, I look like I'm right on the edge. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm famished. I'm sure there's still some food around here. Any little scrap will do. Dude, I ain't... Well, you're famished. I haven't been eating because I don't think it's a good idea. You gotta dig the uh, the attention to detail though, with like the rings left over from previous drinks and stuff like that. And from an environmental standpoint, it's actually not too shabby. Look at the calendar again. Hey, come here. I think I got something. Oh, I think I just missed a memory. Ah. I think I can this. do it later then too though. You got it, Gordo. Damn it. Here, you eat your moldy-ass sandwich that's been sitting on the floor for a couple days. I'm still waiting for the memory light to pop up again. If it's going to. Thanks for sharing, too. You didn't even offer, you twat. You have no idea how hungry I am. Who knew that under the right circumstances, stale bread could taste like caviar? Well, no caviar is fish egg, so I'm not sure it's much of an improvement, bro. Night. I suggest you rest up. Save your energy. They'll be around for us soon. Yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. Now I can do it again. Hey, hey! Get off of me! You? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, I have no idea who that is. At no point in my first playthrough did it explain who the hell that was. Okay. And now I'm just kind of chilling in the room. I can replay the same memory again. Yes. Hello. Why would they leave me? You just gotta be patient. Sure. Get it? Be, be patient. patient. Get it? It's a good thing your sense of humor isn't what's gonna get you out of here. I have had some strange dreams. Yeah, I, uh... Me too, actually. Ever since they put me in... Uh, listen, this is gonna be fine. Trust me. Yeah. Just hang in there. Yeah. I'm bushed. Why don't we both get some rest? Sweet dreams. Okay. 
Sweet Dreams in like the original Eurythmics isk version? I think it was Eurythmics, or are you thinking Sweet Dreams in like a Marilyn Manson sort of way? Because those could be very different dreams. Lots of good atmospheric sounds. Hey, come here, goddammit! You sniffling sons of bitches, help! You yeah, that's gonna get their here. attention and get you them to like you. To I'm not supposed to be here, goddammit! It's okay, Dante. Even if you're not supposed to be here God today, it'll be okay. This is brag all over. He thinks he can get rid of me. Like trash. Again. We'll buckle the up. The history right? suggested of who he is. Where'd the spoon come from? And there's a crayon. Where'd you get the spoon, bro? And are you really trying to dig us out with a spoon? For real? Oh. I've, uh, I've almost got a brick free. Oh, with well. Spoon. Pretty good, right? Uh, sure. That'll take forever. Surprise, surprise. Get him. You just want to sleep till kingdom Being come? a jerk. Well, I'm not going down without a fight. You're the one who wanted to sleep. Calm your ass down. Calm? You kidding? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to get us killed? Oh, asshole. All right, well, at least now I have my flashlight, which I'm going to have for most of the rest of the game. Um... Never once, when you need it, will you be able to pick up a weapon even though it's sitting right in front of you on the floor, but damn it, I can have a flashlight for pretty much the entire game. And I've explored down there. There's nothing to explore. It's very linear. Which I guess is, to some extent, good because then you won't get yourself lost in here. Opening these doors is kind of a pain because you got to basically grab it and then push and let go at the same time. Are you guys ready for a jump scare? Come in. You have finally arrived. And three, two, one. Come on. Oh goodness gracious me! Yeah, that's about it. And where walk and no, you can't change your walk speed. This is as fast as he moves. Did that there's still a leg over there. <laughs> Everything else disappears, but the leg is still chilling there. Is that a wolf? Have I gone back to Lothal? Kanan, I know there's an answer. Just follow the wolves. Last time I followed the rabbit. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, last time I went that way. Almost positive. So let's try to follow the other one. Only a coward would take the path of the prey. Okay, so that does make a difference, apparently. Although I don't know if it's a butterfly effect kind of difference or not. Boo! Boo! Oh, no, he's just gonna fade away. Lots of creepy sounds and stuff. Hello! No matter where you turn. Okay, then. Okay. This place don't look so good, but apparently it still has electricity. What's today? Eh. 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 No, it's... Don't come in here. Wake up, bro. It's me. No, Wake up, bro. It's not me. I'm... 
and I'm worthless. Ah, uh, huh? Oh, it's just you. Have you been spending your day? I'm sorry about hitting you. Things are, they're not right. It's, it's no excuse, but I, I Did I not I say that? I said I stuff wasn't hurt. right, bro. Maybe you shouldn't have fucking hit me. I know, and I made sure that I hurt too. See, the shame, it's suffocating. Suffocating shame. Oh, how sad for you. I barely made a scratch. I need a hundred spoons to get that brick out. Yeah. It's been a week, you know. You ever gone that long before? A week without eating? On me. Nobody's heard about stuff. Again, is he talking about something else? I don't know how much longer a body can That's what I think on. of you. You're a jerk off. You? Uh, let's go for. I don't think you'd be much longer, man. Right. We're screwed, man. Well, Game over. Why are you looking at me like that? I can't stop thinking about one little cave in and oh. one little cave in. You talking about thirty men? Thirty men in a mine? What? Down in that mine for weeks. Right? How's that even possible? How do they survive? Thirty men. Only twelve made it out. In a cave in, only twelve made it out. out of the Simple. Of the Cannibalism. 30 in, 12 or whatever it is out. How do they survive a week uh, for however long? They eat each other. Cover his ass. You never really have to think about what you might be capable of. Are you saying you're going to eat me? Because I've got fists too. Apparently. What's the difference? Don't worry about it. You can take it. I would say, but at least we have each other, but you're an asshole, so. In the end. You know. In the end, it doesn't even matter. It's a good question. And what's the point of hiding it now? Yeah, what's up? I mean, really. Who are you going to tell? Come on. I'm not really a... What the hell was that? Ooh, we're starting to get an answer. Hey, hey, help! We're in here, help us! Does that sound to you, bro? Like something you want to be saying, hey, come on in? Lord, dear Lord, how it really happen? It's one of the miners, isn't it? Oh, damn it, Frank! Miners? The hell are you talking about? Says the character. Oh, says anyone who played Until Dawn. Get away from the door. Schmack. <laughs> Definitely a game you should play with headphones in. They're awake. It's time to eat. Uh, no. I ain't eating shit. Nah, it's cool. You're good. You're hungry too, bro. Choosers. Eat it. You haven't eaten in days. Doctor's orders. Kiss my ass. All right. Well, thank you, pal. Mmm. Crunchy. Proteiny goodness. It's delicious. Right. Again, trying hard not to eat anything. And that was a butterfly effect. And I got, bling, I got a trophy for that. So it must have been one of the choices that are actually marked or flagged for a trophy. Although they're all hidden unless you go to like PlayStationTrophies.org or something. Look on the bright side, bro. We can't have been in here that long. Because it's still winter outside. Peaceful. Always make look sure to look at the calendar. I'd spend the rest of my life on this beautiful mountain. Uh, doesn't look so beautiful from in here, bro. I had a lot more of it Look at no, broken window. I shouldn't even be here. You yeah. said that before. Here I am. 
eating cockroaches to survive. You must think I'm disgusting. There's no one out there, is it? We're the last two people on Hey, Earth. buddy. Could be worse. And you could not. live in a shithole country. Believe me. Believe me. The dust motes are kind of weird floating in the air. So. So. Oh, wait. Calendar. Do the calendar thing. Get the shuma shuma. Shuma shuma. Hi. Did you just walk through me? Rag will start your treatment tomorrow. I think she's actually standing in. Yeah, she was standing inside me, so I wasn't ever a actually able to see her speak. Not that it matters, but it's basically. Let me scoot over here a little. Maybe she won't actually step into me this time. Because she stands about right here. Mr. Bragg will start your treatment tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, if you activate it more than once, it's just the same flashback. All right, Sonny, let's do something, because... We need to talk. I hope you can understand that none of this was supposed to happen. Well, duh. I didn't want it to happen, but... Are you saying you had some kind of control over this, you douche? It is my fault. What? And if you can, please, forgive me. You believe me, right? Last time I was supportive, and I was like, not that it matters. Now I'm like, eat shit! Yes. Well, you're right not to, of course. I've been here a long time. I've seen a lot of patients come and go. Okay. All I ever wanted to do was help them. So you're saying you're a doctor? But this is what it comes to. Yes. This. You have this. To get out of here. It's a new start. Sure. Clean slate. People can change, right? I can change, I can change. You might change, but you might die. Butterfly effect. Yeah. That's... I know that. Yeah, the vast majority of the changes in the game that take place that affect the story are butterfly effect changes in dialogue choices. Because it sure isn't like I can do much. <sighs> Driving a car. Dude, uh, dude, you're asleep, but, yo, oh my god, dude, it's a buffet! Yo. Yo. I guess I could go around backwards. Last time I went the other way first. So maybe I can do this the opposite direction. Oh, I can't go that way first. Well, okay then. Then why are you putting the interactive thing on the door? That's some weird looking bugs. They're kind of like the bugs that are like... Almost being projected. No, this doesn't feel right. No, it doesn't feel right. I'm trying to remember. Yep, let's say. This takes you on a path. Open? Oh, damn it. I said it's hard to navigate the doors sometimes. God, where have they gone? Hey, dude. No flashlight this time. Doors all slamming closed. Ooh, spooky. Y'all motherfuckers need to paint this place. I didn't know where I was. I couldn't figure out where I... Okay. 
Go! What are you doing? Are you out of your minds? Easy, dog. Easy. Bugs. Again, a buffet of bugs. Get me out of this! You have no right! Get me out! Vic, I could use a little help here. Get in the sense that, uh, Somebody sort of turned on him, and then here we are, back in the room again. Whoa! Didn't actually get to see that last time. The, uh, the segment there of actually seeing him. I think it's because I was moving more cautiously, so they probably, put those little, you know, memories or whatever, probably played prior to me actually getting in there. I see it now. Uh, hey guy, um... We're missing something. There's something different about this room, and I'm just not sure I can put my finger on it. Let's see. I can be like, what's up? Look at the calendar. Oh! Can I flip the board? Nope, I can't flip the board. Damn. Ooh. Open doors. This reminds me of the segment of uh, Evil Within 2 where you're sort of in a mind escape kind of place. Da -da -da. Open says me. Okay, yeah, now here's your other basic jump scare. Um, hi. That was a little strange. Oh, look. It's me. I guess it's me. Hey, look at the little white guy. And now he's behind you. And notice that... Again, if you're familiar with the original Until Dawn, I turned fast enough, you can kind of get a sense of what you're dealing with by the design of that character, even though it was mostly, um, dark. Hey, wait a second. Why do you have the weird antler type of, a uh, uh, shadow. And we're back in the room again! <laughs> I must have just taken a different path, because otherwise that would have popped last time. Oh, nice. That is cool. Didn't notice that last time. The spider walking across the uh, area there. All right, so shit has gone down. We are in shit has gone downville. Okay. And now we can kind of look around. Um, let's see. Now, I don't remember that from the first playthrough, so... Somehow I must have gotten him killed with my choices. I'm sorry, bro. I would come in here and look for supplies, but it's not like it'll let me actually do anything other than walk around with my flashlight, so... Said, and this is the point where the game essentially becomes a Okay, that's basically what you're doing. You're just walking around. Um, there's a couple different ways you can go in here. Um, it's kind of cool. You can actually pick up the different books, and the books will usually have some type of a title on them. Um, the morning after and so forth. And you can uh, turn on most of the radios that you find. Even if it's only like... You can still turn them on. If you can reach out and... The mother of all storms.
if you open that little door that was in the hallway, it just lets you into a little side room that gets you here. This is, the, this is one of the doctor's offices, presumably. Which leads us to another memory. calls me doctor and then goes off looking for Abe. Okay. La, la, la. You'll do a lot of elevator calling. Whee! I'm apparently on the second floor. Still got my body down now. I like the fact that the thing you can interact with, the button for the elevator, like, you see the little light for the activation travel up through the wall. Not sure if that was intentional or not. All right, I guess I will... No. Down. I initially thought, because of how imprecise some of the button pressing goes, I initially thought that what button you pressed on the elevator didn't actually make a difference. It does. Now, in that case, there's only one you can press because it's already at the top of its run, so you want to go down. But um, you do have the ability later on to choose floors in a different elevator, and it does make a difference which button you press. I would say this place has gone to hell, and maybe you should call the maid. But given that this is 1950s, I'm afraid they would think that that nurse was the maid because of her race. And, uh, screw that. So don't worry, we'll just... I'll clean it up myself at some point, if you guys want to pay me to. And again, yes, this is as fast as he can walk. And we're walking. Different rooms. You can look outside and see the uh, design of the building to some degree. Oh, that was cool. Oh, damn, I didn't see that the last time I played. Well, it's all right, because we didn't trust you anyway, lady. <laughs> um, is it a good trophy hunter game? You know, I would say that right now it's a little tricky to do that, um, because you would need probably a guide to all the different choices to really make that um, viable, because you never quite know what choices are going to change your path. It was a little bit easier to tell that. Oh, damn it. A little bit easier to turn around. There we go. Hard to see. A little bit easier to tell that in the original Until Dawn than it is in this. Give me a shoom. That said, one playthrough was like two hours. I gotta eat, man. Some type of test relating to uh, the temptation to eat. Okay. Um, and I would say that there are trophies that are missable, that are definitely missable. Um, because there is no chapter select at this point. And I think I can just... I'm trying to remember if there's a memory in here. I know I can walk in here, but yeah, there's a memory. Like, finding all the memories is tough. I'm not even sure you can actually find all of them during a single playthrough. Oh, well that's not good. Of course the irony there being that that of course is supposed to remind you of, you know, if we're talking horror troops, right? Hannibal the Cannibal, Hannibal Lecter. And cannibalism plays a role in the story of the game. And until dawn. 
I say, like, it's, it's a believable atmosphere. It's just a dull atmosphere in many cases. I mean, it's just an old building, you know, that's been turned into a sanitarium. And I think that every time it does that, wah, 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 I'm assuming that what it's doing is in some form or another, it's, um, I don't think I can open that door. It's like, I think it's, um, it's initiating something based on your choices. I think it's like the, the equivalent of a loading screen. Who are you? Dude, hey! I wish I knew! Okay, okay. You must be a patient then. Sorry, I just shit. I made that same choice last time. Oh well. One of those things. Didn't want to freak you out, but I've been keeping my eye on you. What? Shit. That's one of them. It's close by. Anyone back the way you came? Uh. They're all dead. Oh, God, all of them. Yep. Who's all of them? Who's all of them? There's this order, leaves everyone! Damn it. Okay. Check this out. Okay. If I move my hand in front of the flashlight, it actually blocks the beam. You deserve to go out like. Thanks for letting me know. You're like, welcome, we bro. Vomitos. Pronto. This way. We got a Vamanos Pronto. <laughs> Notice he's got a weapon he can carry around. He's got like a broken chair leg or some shit. And now we get to spend a little while basically following this dude around. Actually, was there anything else in there that I needed to touch? No? Okay, great. Okay. I'll make you famous. Don't say a yoo -hoo. You actually have to pass him up because he has to lock the door behind you. Okay. One thing that's a little bit frustrating is that when you're choosing dialogue options, talking to people while you're holding your flashlight, the same button that does the dialogue choice turns on and off your flashlight. So if you hold down the button to do the dialogue choice with your left hand, then congratulations, you just turned your flashlight off like an idiot. Oh, I feel lucky. whole bottom area looks like a train station or something. Can I have a stick like that instead of just a flashlight? I'm just, I'm just wondering. That's all right. I'll just fight somebody with a damn teacup or something like that. Bam! Bam! With a teacup! Pretty sturdy teacup at that. Oh, man. Was that one of your friends? My bad. I'm being insensitive. I'm David, I work here. What up, David? How long have you been in here? How long have you been in here? Uh... Uh, never mind that, bro. Why are you alone here anyhow? Everybody already left. You pissed someone off? Cause they're assholes. <laughs> they forgot about me! Still don't get why you got left behind. Staff should know better than that. Yeah, well, so, the staff at this hospital are a bunch of dicks. Me straight. Present company included. Miners. In cave in? There was a collapse. Some miners got trapped, okay? They were brought to the sanatorium to recover. Oh. But things. Things went to shit, didn't they? Best laid plans. Were they mistreated too? No, no, it wasn't the staff. They did everything they could for the men. But something was very wrong. The miners. They turned feral, vicious, rabid, like nothing you've ever seen. The staff, what? They, they didn't have a chance. What? I think maybe you know what I'm talking about, don't you? I think maybe you can kiss my ass. That's what I think. But just so you know, I got my eye on you. I'll have to keep my eye on you too, bro, because if I don't follow you, there's no way the game can progress. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I would say ladies first and push you through, but I can't. Follow me. How am I supposed to follow you? You're behind me. There you go. Stay near me, will you? We're almost 
Yeah, and I so I'm playing this game the first time, and I'm like, dude, over here! This could be so useful! And you get your first hint of the fact that this game is never going to let you actually involve yourself in any kind of combat. Because, yeah, locked up. So we got to go to the chapel. Suzanne and I are his escorts. Suzanne being the nurse that we saw the other dude flirt with at the beginning. I came out here to scope it out. Scope it out. Ooh, more chess. Fuck all your chess! Screw it! Ah! I can't flip the board, but I'll screw up your game! Again, lots of books you can pick up and just check out the titles, but nobody gives a... Ooh, didn't know you could go this way. Not that it matters, because apparently it's a dead end, but hey! Wait for me! I would run! But even when I'm being chased by monsters or think that my life is in danger, I'm going to continue proceeding at this leisurely pace! Doom, doom, doom. That's how you know you're in a narrative game and not an actual horror game. You can't run and you can't pick up a weapon. Or hide. I haven't seen any of the miners since the incident. I still hear them, though. Could you speak any less vaguely? I mean, I think it's them. That'd be helpful. Gives me the chills every Might give me the chills if you actually told me what the hell you're talking about, son. <sighs> Again. The most in-depth, atmospheric walking simulator in PlayStation VR history. Sometimes you feel like you need drugs to help you through the game. I'm assuming most of these doors are locked. I haven't actually tried all of them. Yeah, the majority will just do the clackety clack. Safety first. Safety first. Come on. If it was really safety first, you would let me. You would use that to break that little glass thing in there and give me a hammer or something instead of having me run around here with just my fists, my ineffectual fists. Brad's office is right down the hall. La la la. And we're walking. Brad was not exactly pleased someone called him the cops. But I guess he's worried they'll catch a whiff of something they ain't supposed to. I'm catching a whiff of something. I was in my room for like a long ass time. So I got a whiff of something, but what I'm whiffing is is my own B.O. and the smell of the dried, crusty shit on my bottom. Now you get to see kind of a... Ah! Uh, can I get to the door? Yeah. Video of a guy, one of the miners, presumably. I think it's actually supposed to be the same dude that we saw before strapped to the gurney. It's hard to tell. Feed myself. Feed him. Feed him. Spider Windigo. Spider Windigo. Okay. Is this supposed to be like me? Nope. Just the fact that I could interact with it, and it was still telling me I could interact with it. All right, well, that was fun. I hope when the police show up, they plug every last fucking miner they see. Hey! You know what the police plugging miners? At least wait till they're 18 to shoot them. Wait, what? Again, presumably loading the choices. So hopefully this will be a little different than the last time Here I played it. Here we are, at Honcho himself. 
Hey, um, uh, it's David. Can I come in? Enter. Enter. Be -doo -doo. Come. Dragged Suzanne. Got another live one. Hey! Who the hell is that? I never met that guy before. I, uh... I'm glad you made it out in one piece. Trash fire? That's my... We thought you'd... Well, <laughs> suffered the same fate as the others. <laughs> you want me to die? Yes. And for that, no amount of remorse will ever be enough. But you must understand, no harm was intended. Oh, you left me to die, this but no harm was intended. Sided us all. Fuck you! A dollar short, Bragg. Enough. Who are you? May I remind you of your place in all this? Wait, Gordon? I know this is difficult, but can you tell me if any more memories have resurfaced? So, your cellmate is now back to being a doctor. Um, I ain't gonna tell you shit! Yes, well, I understand. Though I suppose now it's like casting stones into a quarry. Your memory will return, and then... I should never have come back. Sorry, I... I thought I could write the ship. Well, that ship has sailed. Ship <laughs> squall. Get it? That, that ship is... Mr. Bragg, yeah. you've been down before. You'll pull us all through. I know you will. Oh, here comes a butterfly effect choice. I think. I admire your optimism, but it's misplaced in me. When they get ready to leave. This is... Uh, Shadows. Please, let's just go to the chapel. The hand is coming for you in the shadows. To the chapel. Thank you. Go now. I'm staying here. What? Can't leave you behind. It's not safe. Please, you know we all have to go. Everyone, Bragg included. Be supportive, or say, "Fuck this guy." Last time I was supportive, this time I say, fuck this guy. Turns out we're on the same page after all. Yeah, try to follow us and watch me beat your ass. But then I wasn't supportive of her, is the point. All part of the wreckage. Now get the hell out of here. Mr. Brad. Suzanne, stop. Come on. He's made up his mind. No. No! We gotta go now while we still can. Either way, I'm leaving him behind. Last time he just still said the same thing. Are you coming? Dude, that... Are you coming? Is this when were you part of this part of the game? Oh my god, I've changed the course of time! Be careful with your charge. The right information at the wrong time can turn apples to snap. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah, Don't me forget neither. who's really responsible for all this. Well, okay then. Interesting. So yeah, the first time I played, he wasn't alive. He apparently died somewhere along the way. Oh. Oh. Generally, Senator Comfort's thought of as the three because of the, uh, the original timeline being based on uh, the start of the film instead of the battle back in the early 90s. What the? He's talking Star Wars calendar, by the way. And we're walking again. Where did Gordon go? You couldn't have backed me up in there. We didn't have to leave Brad behind. No, no, nothing is going to be behind. And why did I just get the sound of bitter ding something going wrong? Oh Jesus, look at that. Oh god, it's awful. Christ, what happened here? What do we do to deserve this? <laughs> you are Americans, according to some people. Anyone I outright hated? Yeah, but I'd have to go back and actually look at them and tell you. It all kind of blends together because there's so dang many of them. Anything in here to grab? Oh, there's a piece of paper. 
There's a piece of paper. Uh, is it one that's going to let me do the fushi? Nope. Okay. So as a walking simulator, it gives you different scenarios, right? It lets you walk by yourself. It lets you walk with one other person. And now you're walking as part of a group. Woohoohoo! And no, this hasn't been a single jump scare in a while now. Hey, uh, guys? Uh, guys? Oh no, I'm lost. Oh wait, the entire thing is so linear, there's no way to get lost. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Alright, well, good to know. What's up, bro? Can we, like, pull, <clears throat> pull the lever? Nope, apparently I gotta wait for Homeboy there to pull the lever. All right, let's go this way. Oh, I was like, did it just go to a choice loading? No, she walked right through me. All right, guys, there is our exit. It is a big ass doe. Wait, we don't know what's out there. There was nothing out there before. Well, that's it's solid logic. At a time. You remember what Ted said? If one of those things shows up. Don't move a fucking muscle. Don't move a fucking muscle. And we are... Is there not a light? Alright, homie. You got this. Can y'all, like, move so I can shine my light? Shine my light? Shine up, motherfucker! Get out of my way. Yeah, it's another moment where things can change. All right, so he made it across. Okay, I'm next. When I get to the other side, I'll give the signal. And the signal is yelling, Holy shit, I made it! You can barely see there's a church there in the background. It's probably even darker for you than it is for me. You got this. This part of the walking simulator is to watch other people walk, and then walk. It's like a walking tutorial, as part of the walking simulator. Stay perfectly still, bruh! Or am I? Um, last time I chose to let her go next. This time I'm gonna say no. Oh damn it. Okay, I'll go. Okay, well I guess I'm following you again because I made the different choice than I thought I was making. Well, I think she dies as long as she goes first. Pretty sure. If I went first, she would survive. But I'm pretty sure that if she goes first, she's guaranteed to die. And just like, hold still. No, this ain't freeze. Yep, just like the regular until then. You can actually have characters who die or survive depending on choices. Okay, so I guess it's my turn now. Yeah, I can't see. We very quiet. 
Okay. It apparently ate her and doesn't need to kill me anymore. Alright. What's up, stereotypical black preacher? From the 1950s? This didn't have to happen. Yeah, I could have chosen to go first, but I pulled the trigger on the wrong one, bro. I'm sorry. Well, okay. She could be alive right now. Father, cut it out. Now is not the time. And Bragg, where is he? Bragg? He wouldn't listen to reason. Because he wanted a front row seat for the end of the world. Oh, yes. Well, if Bragg had made up his mind, there's nothing on heaven or earth that would, would have changed it. Father Ted Mosley. I'm glad to meet another survivor. What up, Ted? I can't believe she didn't make it. She was so close. Once she moved and caught its attention, there was no chance. I'm glad you made it back here. Not everyone has been so lucky today. The mythology I've been telling you about, the story of these things, I never knew how true it all was. This is not a disease. It's a curse. It's a curse. It's a curse. It's a curse. The curse of the Wendigo. In the administration offices. They still think it's an infection. They have no idea what they're up against. They need our help. God damn it. Why, Suzanne? Why? I can't stand that she's gone. I'm sorry, David. <laughs> I know she meant a lot to you. I'm so glad you guys are putting in such gusto in your performances. I've been so worried about each and every one of you. I warned Bragg something like this could happen. I warned him there was something here on the mountain. An evil spirit. Powerful. Something wicked this I way comes. This. Said I'd lost my grip. Said there are no such things as evil spirits. Well, I even started doubting myself. He's a jerk. But now. But now. Uh, so what is this spirit? It's like what happened to the miners. What they did to each other to survive. When I was a missionary interacting with the native people, I'd hear these stories told with great conviction. Back when he held his missionary position. Wait, what? Faith, so I dismissed them as mere superstition. Unsubstantiated campfire tales. Gone. They spoke of monsters that uh, and again I use my left hand, so I turn off my freaking flashlight for no reason. Flesh, insatiable, hungry, rapacious. They said the only way to elude the creatures was to remain perfectly still. But beyond that, there was no way to end them off. They called them Wendigo. I, never I don't know. They were really Wendigo. Tomorrow? Until the next day? Wendigo. I'd advise everyone to get a little shut eye while we can. I'm sorry if you'll excuse me for a moment. I need to think on my own. Oh, well then. I need to think on my own. Yeah. Fine, don't interact with me. Can I interact with you? It's about pretending to be my roommate. I think I'd prefer to be alone. Oh, feeling myself. bite me. I need to rest. I'd advise you to do the same. What's up, Padre? I need some time to myself. Okay, so everybody needs some damn time to themselves. All right, so we're all in private time now. Fantastic. I guess I'll just go sit my ass down too, huh? Thank you guys for being so proactive in the middle of this monster situation. Now it is a sitting in the dark simulator. Police, open the door. Jail, probably not. I my interest in the game has dwindled down to very little. To be honest with you. Hey, uh, guys, did you just hear like the police or something? Hold your fire! Hold your fire! I said stop shooting! 
Hold your fire! Calm down, man. Please. Stop. Yeah, man. Shooting into a crowd? Have you all lost your mind? Shooting into a crowd? What? Would you please come and help me? <sighs> I'm I'm trying to get over here to help you, but the fact that I don't I can't do anything other than uh Damn, how do I grab it? The fact that I can't do anything other than uh come on, there we go. Other than walk at a leisurely friggin' pace. So sorry. This will all be over soon. Hey guys, uh God forgive me. Uh oh. Bastards! Pew, 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 pew. Part of it also is just having been very busy. First time I've had a chance to really stream much, and I wanted to run through this at go. least once. Go! Keep moving! Don't uh, stop! What the fuck just happened? Stop! Wait. I Great. Play this out completely through audio because you can't see anything. David, help me with the door. Yeah. I guess because I got shot, so I'm like, oh, I can hear it, but I don't, I don't see anything yet, man. Hey, how are you feeling? Probably until this is done. Confused. What happened or where are we? Where are we at, bro? Service tunnel. Connects to the hotel. You should rest up for now. You nearly caught a bullet with this. My your hand is stuck in the chair. Can't get it out. Can't use my flashlight. Shit. Why would they just open fire like that? The police or the miner. I can shine it under my leg, though. I think we all need to nope. calm down, think this through. What is that? Are you hearing that? Maybe we should turn around. I mean, ah, interesting. Maybe the police so he hasn't us. heard anything. We can make a run for the My character hasn't heard anything, but Gordo has. Sorry, Gordo, you ate. The police know we saw what they did. That makes us witnesses. Yep. We have to get out of here. I just need my hand back. Why are you saying they instead of he or she? Do you not want to record an extra dialogue choice? Okay, well, at least I'm getting a good prognosis. Last time I didn't because I ate. He seems to be the one who's turning Windigo. As opposed to me. Gordon, there are no voices. You're lying to me. Of course there are. They won't stop. You need to take it easy. Guys, I've known Gordo for like a few me. weeks and he's a little few crayons short of a pack. He always has been. Can I get the f up now? My hands are all twisted underneath me and shit. Look at this. Look at this. We can't stay here any longer. Can you stand? I would like to. Help me up, bro. I can do it. You can do it. My hands are free again. Let's go. Again, they're banging on the door. There are people trying to kill us, but we're going to continue on at a leisurely pace. Bum ba da bum. It won't be long before they find out the way. We should go. You know what we should do? We should probably run. How are you holding up? We should run. We should move quickly. Come on. Let's do this. Fast! Everybody go! I can't talk about it right now. This is all just too fucked up. You know what's fucked up? The fact that we're walking. And not running. I'm assuming that's a choice load again. Do do do. Can you use the cable car now that the storm 
Victor keeps most of the place in lockdown. You had a man in the cable car. Victor knows this place like the back of his hand. If anyone can make it, it's him. Alright, well then. Alright, bro. Victor. Is that you? Victor is, I think, the uh, custodian. I haven't actually met Victor in a previous playthrough. Oh, that's interesting. I thought last time it had me go up the stairs. Victor manages to cram the entire hotel in here for the winter. Oh no, I've but been in here before. Know. Except this freaking light doesn't go very far. Sets a fine example. Please, Ted, we have to stay focused. I think you won't please most people in the internet age. To me, like Victor's been here recently. and a lot of extra um, expectations doesn't help. Okay, here we go. Uh, come on, do the shh. Come on, it's supposed to give me the memory. There we go. I'm telling you, this sort of press really gets under Bragg's skin. I'd to advise be, you to be, to be careful. Yeah, apparently I must have been a reporter who went in undercover or something. Hey! Stop giving me that eye, man. Damn. Ugh! Ugh! Come on. We can do it. We can escape if we move fast enough, and by fast I mean leisurely pace! At least so far, it's not as unbelievable because you, well, the pace is, but you haven't actually run into instances where it would have made sense for you to grab something as a weapon, right? Don't know. My guess is that they're about to delay it. Unless it's a Super Bowl Sunday hold off thing, I'm betting they're probably about to delay the release. Hotel. The elevator up ahead will get us there. All right. What was that? I don't know. What was that? I don't know. Well, surely it it, it shouldn't be a reason to move any faster. Like, there's not a lot of stuff you could use. So, like, I could grab that frying pan and beat the shit out of something. Hey, Gordo. I, I'm sorry I pushed you. I don't know what came over me. I can't see. We've got to stick together. I know what came over you. You're turning into a Wendigo, bro. I've played until dawn, bro. You heard them, right? The voices. All right. Yeah, I went in that room last time. There wasn't really much in there. Come on, David! Come on! Don't fall behind! Elevator's this way! Elevator go up. Elevator go down. It's not far. Not far. Elevator not far. Yes. Yeah, but you see how, like, any of the horror atmosphere just gets drained in this back half. You go from holy crap jump scares and what's going on and all this kind of stuff into basically just, um, we're walking around in an empty environment and hearing things every once in a while. Which kind of sucks, because it had a decent premise to start with. I'm coming, David! If I could walk any faster, I would, but as you know, I can't. I'm going to go check out the uh, memory over here so that it unlocks that for me. Shoom. Come on. Shoom. Help you blend in. Try it for size. Try it for size. How about I try it for disguise? Because you just said I needed to blend in. Why not try it for size? I try it. Oh, and we're walking. 
talking again. Like I said before, you could do voice recognition. You could turn the voice recognition on so that you can say the choices, the dialogue choices, but it doesn't really make much sense when you're streaming. Why get into the elevator? Get into the elevator. Uh, I'm almost in the elevator. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. Where's our other friend? Hey, where do we want to go? Got any bright ideas? Um, let's... two. Uh oh. Shooting at us, bruh. Um, this is not good. This Ooh. is not good. He done got shot. Just hang on. Almost there. Almost there. I don't think he got shot last time. Then again, there wasn't a crazy ass guy about to turn a window with us last time either. Gordon, can you do anything for him? I can eat him. Okay. Looks like it got hit by one of the bullets. Oh, that's interesting. Damn it. What now? Huh. I know just how that panel feels. Uh. <coughs> You're coming back and finish the job. <coughs> okay. Um, I don't think I went to the top floor last time. I went to one of the... <coughs> oh, shine it on your bird! Shine it on your bird! <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, freak. <coughs> Everyone just... Just calm down. He's a little There's smoky. No point in panicking. It's smoky. We have to get out of here now. Okay, so open it up. Uh oh. Oh, you're gonna shoot me, huh? Huh? Holy mother of God! Got to get out of here. I'm so glad that you uh, express your emotion so vehemently. And by that, I mean not at all. What in God's name are you doing? Police are still down there. Uh. All right. Okay, then I want uh, that one. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be pressing, mother... Shoot! Whoa! So maybe it was a good thing that I went to where Gordo could go out and kill some people? Get us out of here. So I've gone to two and two didn't do anything for me. So now I'm going to one. Are we not going to talk about what just happened with Gordon? Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Bing! Victor. Victor? Second floor. We'll make for the cable car. Oh, shit! Shit. I can't see, bro. We were just on... Well, okay, well, I guess the, the gate's gone now, but we were just on two and we couldn't get out of the gate. And Victor is dead, so maybe we were supposed to go there first to help Victor? Because I know that you can save the custodian, but I've never even met him aside from seeing his dead body in the hallway. Last time, though, I wasn't even in here with them because they saw me as a Wendigo and left me behind. 
because I had eaten human flesh in the form of those sandwiches, I guess, earlier, was what I'm thinking. Hey, watch where you're touching him. Watch, whoa, watch where you're touching him. I know you're a priest and all, but still. <laughs> uh, damn it. Oh, God. Look at me spilling out. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm sorry. Look at me. Hold on. Just a little longer. Hold on. Oh, Can I go ahead and do it yet? Nope, I can't. Oh no! David's gonna die, and my cat is over there sneezing like mad. This didn't have to happen. Is he dead or is he almost dead? No, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, blame me for the jackasses with the guns. Punk. This is where we're trying to go. Into the cable car. I didn't actually get to go in the cable car last time. Not that it matters. I need him to get his ass up. Because if he's almost dead but not actually dead, then maybe, just maybe, he can do this. Um, are you standing just in go. the... Please. Go. Okay. I'm going. And for whatever reason, he's sending me to the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have an actual dialogue choice, and I can't fucking get to him. Oh, Fuck. Stupid. There's no reason for you to stay here. You're just going to get us all killed. Well, I tried to talk some sense into you, Father. But I couldn't actually get to you because I can't run! Apparently something right outside here that's another memory that I've never seen before. Welcome. Nice to know that all are welcome. Even the hot shit reporters. Ooh. Not a word of me in your story, or there's no deal. Okay. I bet that's Victor. All right. Given what he's wearing. I bet you that was Victor. The dead guy in the hallway. Okay, I'll get back in the cable car. Okay, now, yeah, now the father's gonna send me. See, last time I was turning into a Wendigo slowly but surely, and David and the, the uh, pastor guy got into here, and I, as my last heroic act, before fully turning into a Wendigo, pressed the button that sent the cable car for them, for them to escape. Now, with David dead, he blames himself, and he is sending me so that I can escape, whereas... He stays behind. So I'm the only one basically getting out alive. Now, I haven't gone anywhere past this. Because like I said, last time I played, I was not in the cable car. I was not in the cable car. I was simply in the fray, so to speak. But um bum It's the police! And I can turn and look, but I can't move? Got another trophy of some kind. And another trophy of some kind. They're all hidden, so you don't know what they are at the time. And the end. That's it! That is a full playthrough of The Inpatient. So the first half, creepy atmosphere, you're locked in the room, but you have the visions, and during the visions, you have the jump scare kind of moments. A few times, not many, enough that I could remember them ahead of time to know when they were about to happen. After that, you're out of your cell and you're walking by yourself, then you're walking with David, then you're walking with other people, but you're basically just walking. Um, you're sort of avoiding the guys. What happens is, you notice that the... Uh, uh, the Wendigo guy, in that case, Gordon, killed um, the guys with the guns, the guys with the machine guns, right? Well, when they think that you are a Wendigo, they leave in the elevator without you and leave you outside the elevator. So I'm walking over to those dead guys trying to grab their weapons so I have something to defend myself with, and of course you can't. There is no point at which you can grab a weapon. The only thing 
that you ever actually carry is the flashlight. It's just... Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying, again, that the... Oh, I guess I gotta keep playing through the credits, don't I? Um, the key thing is that um, they want you to play it over and over again. They want you to play it multiple times and see the different uh, outcomes. Which, you know, makes sense. I mean, Until Dawn did the same thing. Um, on my first playthrough, I actually managed to save everybody's lives. But I never went through and did all the... Actually, no, I did go through and do the replays where they died. Because I went and got a Platinum Trophy on Until Dawn. Which, which meant having to do all the different permutations. And this is kind of similar to some degree. But it's just, it's, I mean, where's the action? Where's the intensity? Where are the scares for the entire back half? Oh, this is new. Look at me. I'm a reasonable man. So let's get down to business. You say you saw all sorts of bad stuff up on Blackwood Mountain. Yes, I did. But I say... You broke into a reputable institution under false pretenses. Which I did, technically. Who do you think people are going to believe? Your mom. Uh... Oh, sure. You'll be free to go soon enough. I just need assurance you're not going to go and do something uh, self-destructive like publish a cockamamie story about what you think went down up there. Yeah, that's all right. I know all about you. Your editors have been worried sick. As much as I'd like to see you just uh, huh. disappear, this puts me in a bit of a squeeze. And I don't like to be squeezed. I'm now, sorry. What is that what your mama said? Are we going to tell our editor? Hmm? Fuck you! I'm gonna tell the truth! truth. I'm gonna get my ah. ass killed. And just what do you think that is? I may not be able to make you disappear, but believe me, destroying your reputation as a journalist is just where I start. I hope you liked it up in Blackwood, because with the shit you're slinging, I'd say an institution is the only place you belong, in my professional opinion. Ooh. Ooh, butterfly choice at you're the delusional. end. Interesting. Do you hear yourself? He's going to lock my ass up. I'm sorry, but for your own good, I have to recommend that you be institutionalized. Mm. That's interesting that you have something after the credits. So in the original playthrough that I did... I see it now. What? Hey, Gordo. It's so simple. It's so easy. He became a Wendigo. Okay, yeah, in the original playthrough that I did, um, I wonder if I do resume if it lets me redo that last conversation and that's all, and unlock a new trophy. Uh, let's find out. But yeah, in the original that I did, um, basically, uh, at the end, when you actually turn into a Wendigo, it turns out that you are the Wendigo that kills, or goes after, the girls at the beginning of Until Dawn. So apparently a Wendigo is fairly long-lived. But yeah, you wind up being the one that chases him down because you briefly see that from their perspective. Wait, what? Oh, I can redo the ending here. That's cool. I'm not going to, but that's cool. All right, so let's see. So what did my butterfly effect look like this time? Still haven't done a couple of them. So, I kept still encrusting the courtyard, and Ted was glad I made it to the safety of the chapel. Okay. So, keeping still was good. Uh, I disagreed with Suzanne. She blamed me for not convincing Bragg to leave. But I'm assuming that would have had an effect later had she not died. Because it basically played out the same way as before, because my previous one, I agreed with her. I resisted temptation, uh, so Bennett was taken from the room, I guess resisting temptation by going the, it was either by what I was eating or because I took a right in that first vision, I'm not sure. And then uh, I was guarded with David, so he was more suspicious of me, but that doesn't seem to make a difference. 
Um, oh, no, he was suspicious, so Suzanne was killed during the Wendigo attack. That's weird. So maybe, huh. I wonder why him being suspicious plays a role in uh, her death. But I wasn't suspicious with him last time. I told him I'm a patient up front, and she still died. So there must be some other chain reaction from that butterfly bed. And I have no idea what those two, whoops, what those two actually are. Um, and to answer your question, JL, it's because there's nothing really drawing me back to the game. Um, they have the daily Last Jedi challenges, and the last two of them have been bugged. You know, play five games of Starfighter Assault. I play three. It only gives me credit for one. Screw that. Uh, kill one special unit. I kill basically one of each type of special unit. It still never pops for me. Um, there's nothing to motivate me to play until another DLC season comes around and gives us more story content or something to play. Otherwise, just playing the same thing over and over again with challenges that don't work the way they're supposed to most of the time. Um, plus, I think the season of Last Jedi stuff is over. So, I mean, I might try it at some point to be able to have the conversation and have the fun of doing a stream in general and having that chat. But in terms of interest in playing more of the game, I have very little of that right now. Uh, the game is sort of petered out, um, which is also kind of seen in the, the price drops that's going on right now. There's, I want to say that without PlayStation Plus discount on the PlayStation sale that's going on right now, you can get Battlefront for like 41 or 42 bucks as opposed to 60 plus. So, um, anyway, so... I'll quit out of that. Um, but that's the key, right? So for those who are interested in this game, just understand that you're playing through probably multiple times. Um, there are the different memories to get. There's a lot of them that I did not get, but I think some of them have to do with the path that you take. You won't be able to even see them. Um, and then uh, there are the different butterfly paths. But remember, butterfly effect appears to only really pertain to six specific situations or six specific paths of choices rather than the many, many, many different paths of Until Dawn. It really feels like they knew what they were doing for the first half of the game and then got rushed for the back half. If you like replaying it and you like to see that kind of permutation, it may be worth picking up. But at the $40 current price tag in launch week, I would say skip it. Wait till the price goes down because the price for this will certainly start to plunge relatively soon. I would say. Um, as for trophy hunting, multiple playthroughs are going to be how you're going to have to do that um, with an eye towards making different decisions each time. Uh, as for when I'm going to do another stream, I have no idea. It's a crazy busy week this week and next along with school visits and such, so my guess is probably not much anytime soon. Probably um, a couple of weeks at least. Um, so, Anyway, just want to give you guys a chance to see a full playthrough to give you a sense of what the length actually is like, how the game actually plays or doesn't, as the case may be. Um, and to give me a chance to see a few more uh, permutations of the story as we go. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching. I'm going to go grab myself some lunch, um, and I'll catch you next time on another stream. <laughs>